All right, so we're gonna continue on with our harness installation here of our AES system on this uh, Joyce Far 6155. Next on the list is our rocker switch power harness. Um, this is just a simple rocker switch that we hook straight to the battery the exact same way that we did the power supply for the AES 35. And we'll route this up in a very similar manner. And we're gonna come out and in the, the side armrest and mount this switch and this is what's going to be powering our display and the rest of our system through our Gen 4 harness. And then we're going to move into routing and installing our Gen 4 harness. This harness is essentially the heart of our display guidance system. This harness connects our receiver to our display and all of our peripherals as well. So we're going to start off with our main receiver connection. This 12 pin to which connection plugs into the back of the receiver and then we're going to route this all the way down through the cab and we're going to tuck it up nice and neat as we can following any factory harnesses along the way and with this harness like I said this is where everything plugs into and branches off so we have serial port for diagnostics and and other related tasks can networks we have remote engage switch abilities switch power outputs as well as our system power plug here and then we also provide areas for remote mapping abilities so we can tie into pto switches or any external applications that we need you know to, to trigger our mapping on our display screen moving down we have our our guidance bus plug this is where we're going to actually plug into our AES 35 electric steering wheel, and this is what's gonna make our steering wheel actually steer the tractor as we go through the field. Then as we come kind of toward the end, end of our harness here, we have our, our can termination plugs, and then as well as the main plug that plugs into the back of the display. All right, now that we've got our steering wheel mounted in the cab and, and everything's tight on the steering column itself, now we move on to our harnesses. Now remember we have two harnesses. We have a power harness and a communications harness. The communication harness plugs into the back of our steering wheel using the, the round Turk style plug. And for routing, we simply just came in down the, the steering column and came in through the, the main console here and just followed the existing wires down the, the steering console under the floorboard. And we brought everything out of this this front access panel right here, making sure we leave our, our connections easily available for when we power everything through our, our main Gen 4 harness. For our power harness, we have just two, two eyelets here. We have a positive and a ground, which simply hook those to our battery. Same thing using the existing wire routing. We followed up through the battery box, came in under the cab and come in through an access point that was already available for us and we follow the same routing from there to coming out to the to this same access panel here. So we've got our Gen 4 harness installed in the cab. We've run our receiver portion of the harness up the, the B post here and kind of followed existing wiring harnesses and, and came out right here by this front door and in sh where we can then shoot over to our receiver we have our display portion of our Gen 4 harness coming up and coming right out of the B post. Our display will be mounted right here along a rail momentarily. The rest of our Gen 4 harness, we were able to route down and tuck away neatly behind this console and kind of keep everything tucked in behind the trim. But we have all of our connectors out here still exposed for easy access, that is for our Gen 4 harness and then also our communication and power harness for our AES 35 steering wheel. So now we're at the portion where we're ready to plug everything up. So we'll start with our AES 35 steering wheel. We have our power harness here with just a two pin power supply. So we're gonna find the matching connector here. All connectors are labeled. So we find our, our system power here. And it's just a simple matter of we plug that up. That's gonna send us our 12 volt power that we need to go to our electric motor on the steering wheel. And then next we're gonna need, for this install, we're just gonna need 
the one, the connector that's labeled guidance bus. So then we find on our Gen 4 harness, our guidance bus connector here, and it's just a simple matter of plug it up. We make that connection. At this point, the AES 35 is completely installed. It is ready to go. All we have to do now is just button up a last few little connections here on our Gen 4. The first one being our system power. So we have our, our power connector from our rocker switch harness that's run up to a um, switch there on the, the side panel. We're gonna find our system power connector on our Gen 4 harness. Again, it's just a three-way Deutsch connection here, three-way Deutsch connector here. Plug it up, now we have power going throughout the harness so all of our receivers and displays and any peripherals we have will be powered at this point.